Countertop dishwashers are no less than revolutionary. This modern kitchen gadget simplifies how you wash your dishes in your small studio kitchen. But is it really worth your hard-earned money? Let's check out some of the facts that will make you think twice before getting a countertop dishwasher. Nobody likes cleaning a pile of messy dishes after a hectic day. Whether you live in a small apartment, dorm room, or RV, you'll prefer keeping your cooking area clutter-free. And to make that happen, a countertop dishwasher can come to your rescue. It's compact, easy to move around, and washes dirty utensils, flatware, and bowls. It typically doesn't need any additional plumbing other than access to your kitchen faucet. But is it really worth having? Something to rethink. Limited capacity is one of the main reasons why some people choose not to have a countertop dishwasher. Wondering why? Well, these types of dishwashers are typically smaller in size compared to traditional built-in dishwashers. And it clearly means that they have a limited capacity for washing your piles of dishes at once. This can be inconvenient if you have larger families or you host parties most often. Additionally, countertop dishwashers won't accommodate larger pots, pans, and casserole dishes, making it difficult to clean your bulky kitchenware. Whenever we heard of countertop dishwashers, what pops into your mind first? It's designed for small kitchens, right? But you have to keep it on your small countertop, where already your space is running out. Yes, limited countertop space is a common concern for every small kitchen owner. So, if you have a small kitchen or limited counter space, a countertop dishwasher may not be the best choice for you. In such cases, a traditional, full-size dishwasher may be a more appropriate option, as it can be installed under the kitchen counter and take up less space. Pour drying is one of the most common complaints among countertop dishwasher owners. For low-quality heating elements and lack of proper ventilation, sometimes it becomes too hard to dry wet dishes. On the plus side, when the dishes are not completely dry, they can develop mold or bacteria, which can lead to food poisoning. In addition, poorly dried dishes are often streaked or spotted making them look unappetizing and unattractive. Another disadvantage of countertop dishwasher is less wash cycle. It limits the number of dishes that can be cleaned at one time. A less wash cycle also means longer washing time and increased energy consumption, making it less efficient and cost-effective. Additionally, the limited wash cycle may not be able to handle larger or heavier items. Plus, a less wash cycle also means less water and detergent usage, which could result in less thorough cleaning of the dishes. So, if you're a bit of cleaning freak, it's better not to use a countertop dishwasher. Countertop dishwashers come with fewer features compared to full-sized dishwashers, which is a major reason not to buy them. They're basic and limited in functionalities, which means that they may not meet the needs and expectations of all households. For example, countertop dishwashers do not often come with adjustable racks, multiple wash cycles, delay start options, and other convenient features that can make dishwashing more efficient. This lack of features also means that the dishwasher may not be able to handle different types of dishes. Furthermore, Fewer features also mean that the dishwasher won't be as durable and long-lasting as full-size dishwasher, which can be a significant drawback for those who want to invest in a reliable appliance. Considering the features and conveniences, we can say that the countertop dishwasher won't go miles to help clean your dishes. But if you're looking for a space-saving and easily carryable dishwasher for your rented house, they are the best suited for you. On the other hand, if you want a permanent solution for your dish cleaning job, then our advice is to go for a built-in dishwasher. It will be a smart pick for your large family and full-sized kitchen. That being said, we're now at the end of the video. Hope you loved it and subscribe if you did. In the comments section, let us know if you find this video helpful. Stay tuned if you want more videos like this on your feed.